Hello, in this EMU deck video, I am going to show you how to compress your games like PS1, PS2, because especially games like PS2 games, they can be gigabytes in size. And I know my folder, PS2 folder, is about 80 gigabytes. And I've got a, I think, a one terabyte micro SD, but even then, it, it adds up. Unless you game, you know, multiple micro SD cards, and even then, you know, the reality is it adds up. So, how do you, you know, fix that so there's a built-in compression tool into emu deck and i'm going to show you how to do that if you have not got emu deck set up and you're interested which i'm sure you are there's a link in the description to set up emu deck and i'll provide the link that you know allows you to set it up for you know everything but i've got videos covering to set it up just for psx2 or just for rpcs3 and other emulator ones coming soon okay first of all you want to switch to desktop mode to do that press the steam button power and then press switch to desktop obviously i'm sure you already know this but if you don't uh you know obviously i'm guiding you through it in desktop mode if you you know forgot you can use the mouse to i mean the you need the mouse but you can use the screen to control the mouse or you can use the right trackpad and click it in for left click or the r2 button you can use for left click and l2 for right click okay so first of all i'm going to go ahead and show you the size of each folder and then we'll compress it and see what we get afterwards so roms so PSX is the PS1 games, properties, and it is 600 meg. So let's have a look at PS2. Like I said, I think it's like 79, 80 gig roughly. Yeah, 80 gig, let's call it 80 gig. So 600 meg and 80 gig. Let's see how that does. So the PS1 folder has one game in there. PS2, it's got a bunch. I think it's probably got about 20 or so in there. So a fair bit. You wanna open up EMU deck. And obviously you can go through updating if it needs an update again, but you know, we don't need to do that. You want to go to, let me focus, tools and stuff here. From here you want to go to EMU, let me focus in, EMU deck compressor. And here we go. So it can compress you up to 70% and it uses a CHD format for PS1, PS2, Sega CD and Dreamcast games for GameCube and Wii it uses RVZ. I do have some GameCube and Wii games, but I haven't checked that folder what the size is. That's fine. I'll just click run compression tool. Okay, so do 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 do. Yeah, that's fine. Yes, let's start. Okay. Okay, that was the only one picked up. Did I have GameCube or Wii? Or did maybe there's no game that they that he's picked up that he can actually come you know do whatever. Click OK. So just gonna make it a little bit bigger so we can actually see what's happening. So obviously you can maximize your light or just drag it like I did. And yeah, so that's going through compressing the games now. So I'm just going to let this run and yeah, I'll let it run so, you know, there's, there's not much, you know, more to it. The, I think this is just the, I think this is just the first game, so the PS1 game, yeah, just the PS1 game that he's compressing. Okay, so one game has now been compressed 
it's going through and doing the PS2 games. So if we, whilst this is doing, it's going to go ahead and do a sneak peek and see how well the PS1 game has done. Remember, you're 600 meg. Go into here, properties. It is now 440 meg. So that's dropped it by, what, 600 meg. 20% uh, is 120. 20, that gets us to 480. And there were 40 down. So by about 23%. So almost a quarter of the size has now. Actually, no. Yeah, quarter, actually just over a quarter. Yeah, just over a quarter. So this is about 25, 26% of the size has now gone. And let's see if we look in there. We have a CHD format. So the bin and Q file is now disappeared. So this is compressing. What I'm going to do, I'm just going to, you know, just pause it right here. Uh, you know, the video. And then I'll, you know, resume once it's all done. And then we can have a look at the PS2 one. Because PS2 is going to take a bit of time. So bear that in mind, things can take a bit of time. So if you're doing it as you're adding games, it'll be quicker than doing it like how I've just done. Okay, so the compression has now been done. It's been about six hours. I think it's probably been done about 20 or so minutes ago. I did just pop out to grab some food. But before I went out, it's just a quick burger. But before I went out, it hadn't been done. It was like five hours. So there's a lot of time. Good thing I didn't record it. Let's go ahead and have a look at the folder. And also have a look at the size. So as you can see, it's all CHD files now. Let's go back. If you remember, it's 80 gig roughly. Which takes me back to home, primary, emulation, ROMs, oopsie daisy, PS2, right click, go to properties, let me focus in, 48 gig. So it's knocked it down a fair bit to be fair, what, 8, 16, 24. 32, so it's knocked it down by 40%, 40% space has been saved, so up to 70% depending on the games, as, uh, but like 40% is nice, so I've got an extra for over 30 gig of space just from running that tool, which is great, okay, so recommend that you, so that's all it is, so you can go ahead and you know end the video if you want to, but we're gonna go back to game mode to show you that the games you know still appear, still work fine, and but yeah, I recommend after you add a game or two, you know, when you add you know your games, run the tool instead of running it like after 20 games. If you add a couple of games, run that tool. Okay, so if I go to emulation station, play. And let's see if I go to PlayStation 2, those were one of the ones that was compressed. If I go to God of War. So I just press select on that one to show you that the save state still works so you know everything still works fine so that's it that's how you can press games on the emu deck highly recommend that you do it you won't have any issues it should be all good they always say you know make backups make backups always important but honestly it works fine and that's it if you have any other steam deck or emu deck you know inquiries feel free to post in the discord group link in the description almost 9,000 members now nice little exclusive club for all of my followers speaking of followers make sure you hit that subscribe button hit that thumbs up and you know i'll see you in the next one bye bye